Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. And what is happening with Paul Pogba's price? The EA knows something we don't right now. Like, look at it from this point of view. It's Pogba. You're paying for the name, French Links Premier League. Why is he only 300k when David Luiz, when he first came out, was just shy of a million coins? 288, an 84, and an 82? Hmm. I don't know about that one. Is it because this card is just that good? If anyone has used the Summer Heat David Luiz, what to do is leave a comment, give him a rating out of 10. Let me know. Be honest with me. Rating out of 10 for David Luiz, if he is just that good, I'm going to unlock this SBC. Because I'm not saying Pogba is bad i'm just like questioning why was he so much cheaper than david luis is it just because he want to give back to the community i have no idea but let's go and take a look at his uh, stats i did submit Firmino. uh sorry Firmino in the sbc uh we had that summer heat la liga card that i just stuck in uh verdi i unlocked and put him in so i haven't really spent that much in coins and i think for what you're getting back a 95 rated pogba he shares similar defending stats to a hullet he's got really good physical his dribbling isn't that far off hullet um in fact i think it's better yeah i'm pretty sure it's better because he's been given like 99 ball control 97 dribbling and 97 composure passing is basically perfect the shooting i think they did give him quite a nice upgrade uh, to his finishing stat and then the acceleration my first impressions is that he doesn't have like a mad boost but he's got a good stride so after the first like step over and then you would then get onto the ball and start accelerating he builds up that momentum and that's really Pogba's style he just powers through uh the midfield so so far so good he scored his goal in the last game for me to clutch up gold three and i've been coming up against some pretty sweaty players like god damn someone was saying like yo fuj all that you want to do these days is play against easier opponents yeah of course i do i would like to enjoy like dribbling past players building up doing step overs what i'm facing in the weekend league now is just very good players really really nice teams and dropping back in the defensive style so it's like pretty much near impossible to find enjoyment trying to beat past those players you just can't, i can't play like how i would play like in the draft or in the first 10 games it, it just turns into a bit of a sweat show and i think that where i'm at with the game i'm kind of done like i don't mind sweating for fifa 21 you know the deal like any any new fifa that comes out with full momentum full try hard and we're trying to get the best possible ranks but these days i, I just want to relax a little bit and try and um get get some fun out of whatever's left with the game and when you go and purchase a Paul Pogba you want to see what he's doing so um we have tested him against some good players and I'll give you I'll, I'll give you a verdict at the end of today's episode I'll let you know if I feel like Pogba is playing that well in game put it this way for 300,000 coins though you can't really go wrong like it doesn't make any difference if he is a little bit worse than some other players on the game like 300,000 for a Paul Pogba with those stats, you should be considering doing him anyway. But we're going to play him as the left attacking mid, so that's going to tell De Jong to stay back today, and it'll give Pogba a bit more of a license to push on and support the play and try and get some goals. So if you are enjoying the series, leaving a like would be awesome. If you are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and if you are wanting game codes, G2A, link below, and use the code Fuji. So Pogba, he is here. Is he here to stay though? We don't know that. And Wambasaka, I did pick up for 188,000. I wonder if he's gone up now because of the poor Pogba link. Um, not, not really, nah. And he played okay yesterday. So we're going to have to get our sweat on right now because it's not going to be easy. So let's do it. By the way, Vieira's been dropped for now. I might actually... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I might actually use Vieira and Pogba together so I have a bit more of like a stable defense instead of using well de jong's really good now i'm just going to keep it like this for now yeah we're going to keep it like this let's go three two one get ready for the sweat fest and it is wow a full pretty much summer heat team that looks ridiculously good and he's got a super fast defense van der Sar in goal what a squad oh on the track back great strength you see how he powers through and that, maybe it was a foul i don't know but that's what i did notice yesterday he gets in those clutch tackles he's got the Vieira lunge or the pogba lunge sorry don't need to disrespect pogba he's very good himself at, at breaking up the play so fair i, I do really like him i think 300 000 
is a steal. And that's what made me question, like, is he going to play that well in game? Like, why would they list him up at 300? There you go. Supporting the play. Let's go, Paul. See, when you start gathering up that momentum, then he can go. It's just that initial boost. You can find players that... What the hell was that touch from Dembele? No way. That was ridiculous. Right, we need to focus up a little bit. We need to get a goal. Yo, saying... Pogba, Pogba, why not? Pogba, drive back. Oh, Pogba! What a goal. What a power finesse. That is well and truly Paul Pogba. What a finish that is. Yes, come on. His second goal for the club. I had some opinions on the card yesterday, but after having played some of the games that I was involved in, like the connection wasn't, wasn't great. So it's hard to tell whether or not a player really does feel their pace and their acceleration. But right now in this game... He feels, yeah, pretty damn quick. And because of his height and, like I say, his strides, he does gather up some momentum through the middle. And that, like, the first touch and, and all of that helps him out big time. So, do I do rate Pogba. I think, will he stay in, in our starting 11? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no. I, I don't see why not. Obviously, I want to be changing up the team and trying out a couple of new cards. But we've only just got him, so I may as well give him a go for uh, maybe a couple of weeks and get some chemistry with other players around him. Go on. Nice, 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 nice. A cross goal from there. Back. Oh, I don't know. Could have gone in. Dembele. Ah, oh, I tried to pass across. Not going to lie. It didn't work out though. Wow, that's really, really sketchy. What is he doing? It's Venetius. He didn't play a switch at all. I was expecting him to play a switch. Then I was going to cut back to the left. But he gave me that. I think he put his controller down. Everyone's got him. They're like, come on. If you haven't got a Pogba in your team right now, you're doing something wrong. You've, you've wasted too many coins on those icon packs. Like, like, think about it like that, right? One of those icon packs, surely they were... Well, it was an 88 squad. Oh, no. It was only an 88 team. So it wasn't going to be 300,000. It, it was probably like, I don't know, 200k or so. Somewhere around there. So, could you imagine if you've wasted all your coins doing those and you could have got your hands on a Pogba instead who's going to be playing better than the majority of those icons? So, yeah, just just don't waste your coins. Get yourself a Pogba. Think twice, bring in Paul. Um, and we are dominating this game. I think someone asked me, like, Fuge, is De Jong better than Pogba? I don't know, man. I'm not sure. Like, De Jong... De Jong is still unbelievable with what he does and what he offers. And Pogba is more of just that physical beast in the, in the midfield. So I, I, it depends what you're after. It really does. They're both very good cards, but I don't think their styles really compare in a way. Go on. Oh, he moved his keeper. Your little sweat. Let's go. Venetius, good goal. Oh, he's going to find me there. Longlair. A little bit weak in that challenge. That's going to be a goal, yeah. Oh, Longley again. He's usually very good, though. Really? <clears throat> no. He's going to cut that one back. He's going to find Ribery. Oh, he's, he's going to do me again, isn't he? Just easy, easy goals I'm conceding right now. And it's, once again, it's the story of my gameplay. Defending, No. Mm, at least the rebound's gone on the edge of the box and he has no one there to counter-attack. I need to just try and get this in. He's got so many players in his box, but that pass. Suarez with the spin. What a player. Thank you, Suarez. You have saved me. 4-2. Just as well, we've got a little bit of uh, breathing room there. Who would I rather have anchor in the midfield? Pogba or De Jong? I don't know, because they both actually play a really good attacking role. And then maybe I would favor a good ball. Go on, finish. Bang. Go on, Vinicius. Maybe I would actually favor Pogba being the one pushing on because of his work rate, high to medium. And then you've got De Jong with medium high. Yeah, De Jong has medium high. So I think that's going to be better for this team and better for the balance. And I am liking Pogba running through. So that's what I'm going to stick with. He's here again. Bang. Interception. Yeah, he's got the speed. This guy, he's got the strength. He's got that hill to hill. And that's full time, boys. 5-2. Uh, decent game. I, I don't know what happened. Uh, the first, like, 10, 20 minutes of that second half, I was falling to pieces. Thankfully, I got a goal. Otherwise, if I can see that, I don't know how the game's going to end. But three goals for Venetius. Go on, man. 
Nice. And Pogba's shot. Here we go. A nice little step over into a drag back. Good strength as well. Maybe that seems cheesy, but that is versus Pogba himself. And he's got God knows how much strength and aggression. So for him to hold off that and get the shot away... That is a solid, solid goal. Good power finesse. Another massive team coming up, most likely. Oh, god damn. Talk about a massive team. Ronaldinho, Cruyff, Aguero, Messi. Here. Pogba. Pogba wants to push on a little bit. A little layoff and then pass. Good positioning. That was one of those scoops. I was offside. Serious. Oh, man. With Suarez. Damn. I didn't even think he was off. I try to pass that as early as possible. Let's see again. The positioning from Suarez. Oh, man. That is that is offside, but that is tight. Pogba. Got to play that one back. Suarez again. He's drifting. Pogba. Oh. Just want to be a little bit more patient here. Trying to find that. Yes. Vinicius, what a goal. Now, I don't know if that crossed the line. We're going to have to watch VAR here. Let's see if the whole ball crossed because that was way too quick. Oh, no, I see I see a little bit. I see a little bit of it. Oh, no, that is that is cross. Is that? Yeah, that is over. Not as high scoring as the first one uh, being only at 1-0, but we don't know what's happening in the second half. With the two chances that we created, first one was offside and the second one obviously went in. Uh, he hasn't done much going forward, but then again, the first opponent didn't have much in the first half. So, be patient, keep focused. Ooh, again, Longley. He's literally everywhere. And I need that right now, because this guy is trying his bloody hardest to get a goal. Pogba, lay that one off. Wide, look how much space I'm in. Hang on, Dembele. What a cutback. And that right there was embarrassing. That is just such, like, a fake shot. Here. I should really just switch this stuff. Oh, my God. Switch it right to him. That was not good. It's a goal, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. I thought I put full power over to the right-hand side. He's just got those players all around me. I think I'm through here. Come on, Saint. Who's on the edge? Oh, that late run. Are you going to hit it? Yes, you're going to hit it well that time. Let's go, Dembele. Go on. Jeez, I didn't think that he was going to get that. Uh, that was literally the same sort of cutback as that first attempt, and he scuffed it. Dembele. Dembele. Hang on, 86 minute. Saint. Through. Yes, good link up. Little one layoff. Venetius. Oh, that's a foul, surely. Go on, Venetius. Let's go, man. Go on, Venetius. Bang! Outside of the foot. Oh, what a ball across. Wow, what a ball across. Go on, good goal as well. And it's full time. And we've got two Zidans shaking hands. I don't think you're ever going to see that again. But with the way we played, we did all right. I can confirm that there's nothing wrong with Paul Pogba. For 300,000, I think EA have either priced him up wrong or they just want to give a card that is very good back to the community to enjoy until FIFA 21. Because Pogba at this price is an actual steal. Today's games felt a lot cleaner, the connection, than yesterday. And it was free flowing. I was able to get a feel for how he actually is attacking and his movement. And he's fairly, well, he's surprisingly good on the ball. And that's what you don't really expect with someone this tall. But then they have given him great ball control, dribbling, reactions are quite high. And I don't think that the agility and the balance gets in the way of things too much. Like the engine chem style, um, that's what I've been using with him. I don't know if Shadow is, is best if you want to really play him as a CDM. But with that attacking option powering through the middle the step over boost the tracking back using his physical i think that he is awesome and it's a player that you really want to bring in put it this way right pogba and de jong i would rather have than Vieira and pogba or Vieira and de jong i think that suits 
my style so much more. And I don't mind uh, De Jong staying back, but he, he's just really like a Dutch version of a Kante anyway. He's great going forward. And if I, if, if, if I bring in, let's say, a Kante, then obviously I'd have him being the anchor of the midfield. But it, it's not really a waste because you look at the way this guy defends and he is superb. And he's got really nice traits as well. Like, you know I love him. And already 13 assists in 28 games. So in this setup now, he's staying back. And Pogba has been given that license to push on. And now in three games, three games it would be, I've scored two goals with Pogba. So he's starting now to show his worth. And he's and, and you get a little bit more out of that attacking ability. So it's a good thing that if you have him as the one pushing through the middle. That's my recommendation to all of you. If you're going to get Pogba, have him as that attacking CDM. He is unbelievable. Suarez is doing... He's doing all right. 28 games, 33 goals, 12 assists. That's pretty solid. That is good. Uh, is he ideal? Will I be using him for next week? I don't think I'll use him for next week. No, I'll switch him out. But he's been awesome. He has been good. But Pogba, big, big thumbs up. What a price. What a player. Go and unlock Paul right now. Leave a like and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Team out. Peace.